Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, uh, here to review the story of Temple Drake, which was released on Criterion on December 3rd. Uh, so, uh, Temple Drake is one of those notorious uh, pre-code uh, Hollywood films that has languished in obscurity for years and uh, is considered one of the most tawdry and salacious uh, of its kind, and has rumored to be one of the titles that caused the production code to actually be enforced a year later in 1934. So it's directed by Stephen Roberts, who died three years later at the age of 40, uh, who had a lot of silent films under his belt. And the DP was Carl Struess, who did Murnau's uh, Sunrise. So there's a lot of uh, German expressionistic feels to the, to the look of the film. And of course, stars Miriam Hopkins as uh, Temple Drake. It's based on a 1931 salacious novel by William Faulkner called Sanctuary, which uh, a lot of the stuff in the novel was uh, did not make it uh, into the film, which is basically about a socialite. She's the granddaughter of a judge who has a lot of boyfriends around town and doesn't have the best reputation, but after leaving a party one night with a drunken cohort, gets into an accident and finds herself uh, a victim uh, of rape after being taken in at a nearby farmhouse where a bunch of uh, suspicious characters are hanging out, uh, the, but the leader of which is played by Jack LaRue as Trigger who ends up taking her to a uh, bordello for which she'll later work for him and uh, long story short, uh, a murder causes her to be subpoenaed in court by the lawyer that she at one point was considering marrying, and then the whole truth of what has happened to her comes out. Uh, so I, I think Hopkins is quite good in this, and if anything, this is a film to kind of jumpstart maybe a recuperation of Hopkins' career, who uh, may be known by many as a footnote in the filmography of Betty Davis due to their long-running feud for films, starring in films like uh, The Old Maid and Old Acquaintance together. Uh, the, the look of the film, it looks fantastic, and Criterion's restoration is uh, excellent, especially if you've managed to see any kind of the, the awful prints that have maybe existed of this film and or other pre-code films. However, that said, I, I do think that it pales in comparison to something like Rain, the Joan Crawford 1932 film, or Babyface, the 1933 Barbara Stanwyck film, as far as what exactly it's doing. I think that the story of Temple Drake is uh, something that Faulkner wrote uh, to be shock value, to um, make a bestseller, to be Pulp Fiction, and I think that the film definitely comes across as that. Uh, I also was struck at how familiar it is in tone and story to James Hadley Chase's No Orchids for Miss Blandish, which was a 1948 British film noir, which Jack LaRue also starred in and was remade by Robert Aldrich in 1971 as The Grissom Gang. Uh, the Old Dark House, the James Whale film uh, from 1932, that film is a, a, a visual uh, spirit animal of this film. And I'd say even the uh, underground cult classic Thundercrack by Kurt McDowell also uh, probably had s something like Temple Drake in mind when it was being made. Criterion's release uh, includes uh, a, a run-through of storyboards written by Gene Negalesco uh, between uh, cinematographer John Bailey and uh, Matt Severson who runs the Margaret Herrick Library of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences. Uh, so that's a fascinating extra feature to look at. There's also an interview with Imogene Sarah Smith and film critic Mick LaSalle. Overall I give this film 3 out of 5 stars and Criterion's release of it five, 4 out of 5. Thank you. Hey this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.